Welcome, I'm Mark Todd from The Nav, and in this Nav Trade Investing Basics video, I'd like to talk to you about the Australian Real Estate Investment Trust, or the AREIT market. What they are, how they work, and the role they can play in your portfolio. AREITs are trusts that trade on the ASX and offer a simple way for individual investors to get exposure to property. The performance of AREITs involve two components. The first being the capital value of the REIT, and the second being the distributions paid to the investors. The business model of REITs typically entails managing property assets, collecting rent from tenants, and paying those out as distributions to unit holders. The taxation structure of REITs lets them pass distributions to investors on a pre-tax basis. REITs can invest in different property strategies. These include retail, offices, industrial, and hotels. There are some trusts which adopt hybrid structures called stapled securities. These provide investors with exposure to a funds management or a property development company, as well as a real estate portfolio. When considering an investment in REITs, there are three major benefits. The first is they are simply in the business of collecting and paying out rent, and those distributions are underpinned by generally long-term contracts. These make REITs an attractive income alternative. The second is diversification. With REITs, you gain exposure to different parts of the property market. And the third is liquidity. Unlike buying a house, investing in a REIT provides instant exposure to the property market without a huge deposit, and you can buy and sell them during market hours. While there are benefits, investors also need to be cognizant about the risks of investing in this asset class. Some of the key ones include gearing levels. You should consider how much debt a trust holds. The property market risk. If property values fall, then the value of the REIT could be marked down and sell for less. And management risk. Just like you would for a managed fund or a listed share, you need to examine the management team behind the investment. Development risk. If a REIT is going to build a new building, you need to think about development risks and their ability to lease out the asset. In any educational video about REITs, it's important to look at what happened to this asset class during the global financial crisis of 2008. Before the GFC, management across the sector took on significant risk by borrowing heavily to fund acquisitions, expand offshore and pay distributions. This amount of leverage contributed to the sector's correction during 2008. While the REIT sector largely survived and has since staged a massive recovery, it's important that investors keep an eye on management of their chosen REITs across the sector and whether mistakes of the past can potentially be repeated. This means watching two important things, payout ratios. In the lead up to the GFC, some REITs were borrowing money so that they would pay unit holders more than they collected in rent. Watch out if this trend returns. Borrowing to acquire. Ask yourself if you're comfortable with your REIT expanding its balance sheet and their capacity to repay debt if interest rates rise. REITs can play a valuable role for investors as part of a balanced portfolio, especially for those seeking income in a low yield environment. However, as with any investment, it's important to carefully research what you're investing in. So it's important that you ensure you understand them and consider seeking financial advice if you do need help in getting started in this part of the market. I'm Mark Todd from The Nab. Good luck with all your investing.